Welcome back to the channel. Here I am again with another video. Like I promised last week that I was going to do a uh, small review on this cable tester. I went over it just a little bit the last time, but I'm going to try try something. Came to mind earlier. I'm going to try it. And I'll try a few things on there. So you guys can experience it with me as I go along. All right? Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, action sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, oh, yeah, and whoa. Desire to get a higher life, it's an open road. Desire to get a higher, don't limit it, yeah. Desire to get a higher life, it's an open road. Only be life, it's a subject, hey, not an object, hey, a full control. And first of all, this is the uh, Hosa um, CBT500 uh, cable tester. It pretty much has just about every type of connection that you can be using in the audio industry. So if you're a DJ, if you're a, if you're a sound owner, if you're a, uh, a part of a, a, a band owner, you own a band, band or whatever the case may be, um, this might suit you. This, this device is a must have, all right? First of all, this thing uses a nine volt battery. Um, just put it in and that's it. Doesn't have a power switch on there, but let's go over all the different kind of connections that it supports. So let me start with the sides them first, see? On the side, you have the four pin uh, speak on, then you have a, a three pin XLR, then you have a 5 pin XLR. Then you have a DIN plug, as well as a RCA plug, then a B and C plug, and a quarter inch plug. And the quarter inch is tip rig and sleeve. All right? So it's a, it, it, the, the quarter inch is a balanced quarter inch jack. Okay? But on the opposite side, pretty much the same, with the exception of the XLRs. So you have a speak on, then you have a female XLR. On the other side, you have the male XLR. So you have the female three pin XLR. Then you have the female five pin XLR. And on the next side, you have the five pin XLR male. Again, you have the, D, the, 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 um, the DIN, DIN plug. Then you have the RCA. Then you have the B and C. And then you have another quarter inch tip ring and sleeve, all right? Those are the ones on the sides. There's nothing on the top, and at the bottom, all you have is the the, the battery. Now, for the, um, the 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 very top of it, you have the earpin speaker and connect to them. Then you have the Ethernet connect to them. Directly beside the Ethernet, you have the USB, the USB B, and USB A. See, standard USB cable. Underneath that. You have 16 LEDs. You have eight yellow, and then you have eight that that is um, dark green. All right. Then you have the knob that select each pin. It's thing carry eight pin, and each L, each pin has two different LED: one green, one yellow. And then you have the knob that select each pin. Directly underneath the, the knob is you have a continuity tester. It comes with two cables where you plug into it where you can check continuity with. I don't have them with me now. Yeah, the, that's everything that's pretty much on here. So what I'm going to do now, just to show you guys a brief example of how this thing work, I'm going to run a couple of cables through it and I'm going to deliberately break one of the cables then so you guys can see what it does when time you have a broken cable or when something is wrong with that cable. So I'm gonna start with the most popular one, the RCA. So I have a RCA, standard RCA cable. Can only put one pin at a time. So I'm gonna put the red. And on this side, I'm putting the red. Instantly, as soon as I plug them up together, instantly, you notice the green, and the yellow LED came on, and that's for pin number one. Now the RCA has two pins, the ground and the live. 
So let's check pin number two. See the LED cake comes on for pin number two. Both of them. If I put it on the others, none of the others won't come on. Why? Because there's no cable connecting these others. It's only pin one and two. So number two, what I like to do, shake the cable around to see if I get any light flickering. If it's flickering any at all, that means that cable has a short in it. Um, go to channel number, number one, do the same thing. No flickering, so this cable is good. There's nothing wrong with this cable, right? So that's that's the RCA. It's perfect. Nothing is wrong with it. Let's try a USB. So a standard USB. Standard USB has a USB B type B end and a type A end. So I'm gonna plug in these in the tester. Instantly, channel one, channel one lights up instantly. Channel two lights up. I believe the USB plug has what, five in there? I think it's about five in there or six. So channel two lights up, channel three lights up, Channel four lights up. Okay, so it has four. Okay, let me double check again, guys. One, two, three, four pins in here. Yeah, so it has four, four different conductors. So channel four, wiggle it around. No problem. Channel three, no problem. Channel two, no problem. Channel one, no problem. So the USB cable, this USB cable is good. There's nothing wrong with it. Put it over there, sir. Next I have a XLR cable, just a regular XLR cable. And I'm gonna go through just a couple standard cables that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and by the way, this, this, XLR cable that I'm going to test is one that I made. I bought, I bought a lot of bulk wires and a couple ends. I made my own XLR cable. So for those who were saying in the last post that I can't solder, even though I say I'm not good at it, I'm not good at it. But for who said I can't solder, here's the proof, one of the proof. I just don't want to solder. Anyway, let's move forward. Female plugged into the male. Male plugs into the female. Instantly, channel one lights up both orange and green. Here we go. No breakage in there. Channel two. Channel three. Now this is a three pin conductor, so it's only gonna light up three. Okay, so backwards, channel three, shaking it around to see if there's any breakage in it. Two, one, nothing. So this XLR cable from the man we can solder was soldered properly. <laughs> This is a XLR cable that I purchased. So this one now is more top quality than this. I don't need to test it, but I'm just gonna do it just because I got it right here. This is the one I had last week, so by the way. All right, one, light up, no, no. Two, three, it only has three pins, so it's only gonna show three, okay? So this cable is good. Um, 
before I did the, do the, the, the complicated one, let me do this one. Standard speak on, four pin. Now I only have two conductor wires in there. So only channel one and two is gonna show. So here we go. Instantly channel one lights up. That means one is good. Channel two. That means two is good. And I only have a two conduct two conductor wire in here, so I only can check one and two. I would check at the eight pin conductor, but I would have to go to the truck to get one. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna get one. Just, just for this, I'm gonna make sure I get one. But before I do, here's an ethernet. This is an old ethernet that I don't use anymore. But let's see how good it is. See how many pins the ethernet has. Uh, it looks like about eight. Looks like either six or eight. I can't see, I don't have my glasses. All right, so instantly, one comes on, both green and yellow, no problem shaking it around, no issues. Two, same thing, no issues. Three, same thing, no issues. Four, same thing, no issues. Five, same thing, no issues. Six, same thing, no issues. Seven, same thing, no issues. Eight, same thing, no issues. All right. So this ethernet cable is good. Quarter inch. Now, I made this quarter inch also. You know, you buy your microphone cable, you buy your ends, you solder it. You know, I made this one myself as well. All right? So, once again, for those who say I can't solder, here's the proof. Quarter inch on one side, Quarter inch on the other side. Now here's the problem. And uh, it's showing me three different LEDs. Pin number three and channel one and two. If I go to two, it shows me one and two. Go to three, it shows me three and then one and two. Why is it doing that? Because this is a unbalanced cable. So where there should be only three pins in here, it's seen three, but there's only two, if you understand what I'm saying. So this is, a, this is an unbalanced cable, and for those who don't know, quarter inch cables, if it's, if it's balanced, it has three different layers, it has a second line in it. So for the tip, the ring, and the sleeve, if it's balanced, if it's unbalanced, it only has two, the tip and the sleeve, all right? So this is only tip and sleeve and it's looking for a tip, ring and sleeve. So that's why it gives us the, 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 the um, that is why it gives us the bad light, the bad LED indications, all right? Put that over I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I want to try this. This is be the first time. I never tried this before. It just came to me earlier on. So this is a balanced quarter inch cable. And on the other end, you have a, a, a XLR, three pin XLR. So let's see if it will recognize this cable. Go around your son with the other way because the meal in the around your son. Look at this. It, it recognize it, tip, different types of cable. What does that mean? So you know, say, by, by the way, I made this cable as well. So basically, if I had a cable that had an eight pin speaker on one end and on the other end, I have an ethernet cable, I still would be able to test this. You know, if, if I had a five pin on one end and then another three pin or four pin or whatever the case may be on the other end, I, was, I would still be able to test this using this device. It bad. 
Let me do another experiment before I finish this one. Um, what am I gonna do? I use that, that XLR cable here. Yeah? This is one of my cable where, let me say, I mean, make this. So I'm gonna break this cable and I'm gonna break this cable and then you'll see what it does when, when, when there's a damaged cable, all right? So here I am, I'm gonna break red cable. I think this is, I think this is gonna be pin number one. But don't hold me, don't, don't quote me to that. See? Then, so, break the cable, pull it out, and I break that one, so, so we can t touch them together and see what's gonna happen, right? All right, so here we go. XLR and XLR. So XLR has three pins, three different cables. So pin number three, that's probably the grounds, is on. Pin number two, getting nothing from pin number two. And pin number one, we have signal. So pin number two is gone. So I'm gonna touch these two together and see what's gonna happen. There, you see it flickering when I touch it? So me touching it right now is causing it to come in and out, right? Right. All right, so that's what it would be doing if you have a damaged cable. If you have a cable that's damaged, it will be doing something like that. This is trash. All right, now it has a Green light and a yellow light. I touched on that earlier. But it have a yellow light pump and the arrow pointing on this side and then it has the, the green light with the arrow pointing on this side. So that means it, 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 the yellow is connected to one side and the green is connected to the next side. See? Uh, and it, same thing goes for what's on top. Yellow, green. So, like I said, every sound person should have one of these. Please go and get one for yourself. When you have nothing to do, when you're on your downtime, there's no gigs, no nothing, and you sit down in front of your system, your sound system, or you sit down in front of your laptop, you take your cables one by one, check them, what's, what's not good, you throw them away. Don't wait for when you go to an event to find out that the cable is no good, all right? That's all I have for this one. Um, just remember to subscribe to the channel help me to grow and reach out to more people so they can see the content um, Don't forget to click like and the notification bell. So whenever I put a new video out, you'll be the first one to know. All right So thank you again for watching. Have a blessed evening Action sound Yeah Yeah Desire to get a higher life, it's an open road. Desire to get a higher, don't limit it, you go about. Desire to get a higher life, it's an open road. Life, it's a subject, not an object, I full control.